I think good L&D people, and I would like to think I'm one of them as well, um, they don't take things necessarily on face value. Mm. So, you know, they have the, the, I guess, confidence and courage to say to a client, um, where's your evidence to suggest that this is actually a true need, rather mm. than something that someone's got on a bit of a rant with and mm. want to roll through the organisation. So if I use an example, um, service excellence is something that's often, you know, sort of <laughs> grabbed. If we've got to spend some training and development dollars, let's use it on service excellence because it yeah. feels quite tangible. Best practice. Absolutely. Best practice. And so what we need to understand is, again, from a good needs analysis, what's driving that? What's that about? Rather than just taking it at face value, this is what we need, can you roll it out? You seem to be the face and the name of service. Why don't mm. you come in here and, um, you know, spray our people with your view of service yeah. the difference would be it's never about us as an L&D professional it's about how yeah. we untap for the learner what their needs are and more importantly sustainability and transference of that learning mm. so as an L&D person my job can never be done when the training contract of the day is done yeah. and it's also about having the courage and many of you would know this too to say that an event is not going to get you an outcome of change and I, and I don't think mm. until we all get together and say we've got to be a bit braver collectively yeah. as a group of peers and say I get you want to do the event what's your budget why is that your budget let's get more creative about how we can do what we can do with your budget mm. but it may not be the one day <laughs> program <Excuse me. laughs>